Greetings and salutations, YouTube land. Prevo back again with another unboxing video. Today I have for you something I've been waiting a long time for. The latest wrestling box from Zobi. So if you don't know, Zobi is one of the biggest autograph companies out there. They do mystery boxes, auctions, they do a ton of different things. Um, this is one of their... They don't do this box a lot. Maybe three, maybe four times a year. So it's kind of special. Alright. I've been waiting a while. I can't wait to tear into this baby, so... Let's get ready for the unboxing. Chomp, thank you. Ow. Bad boy. So yeah. I mean, as you can see how popular this box is, just by the fact that they don't even bother to list it on the box. So that hurts. Uh, this one cost $40, less if you're a uh, subscriber. And the thing with this box is it's very heavily weighted towards the autograph. Most of the boxes, you get t-shirts, you get figures, you get a lot of little things to help fluff up the value. The autograph isn't something you're into, you know, there's enough other stuff to cover it. This box, I believe it's two autographs and I think a pin or something else. So if the autographs miss, this box is dead. And it's a little on the higher end too. I think I said it's $40, so we'll see. Oh, I think there's a t-shirt this time. Oh, I don't remember putting my size on. Let's see what the shirt is. I like when they're shirts because that definitely helps cover your costs. Nice. So if you don't get it, this is a reference to the infamous Kiss My Foot match between Bret Hart and the King Jerry Lawler, which led to Isaac Yankum entering the Federation. Totally forgot they were just short, so that's really cool. That definitely helps uh, get your value in there. Right, two different autos. Go with the one on top. JSA. And it is. Seth Rollins. See where they have the different pictures, but I'm pretty sure they've done him in other boxes. Value-wise, it's definitely there. He's generally, I want to say, 40 to 60. But they've been using him a lot, so. Yeah. And I've got a bunch of him. Let's see what the next one is. So JSA. And it is... Oh, it's Starks. Ricky Starks. I'm trying to figure out which one signed it. Not bad. I already have him, though, but not bad. Would have liked to have seen this double signed, because neither one's all that expensive. And spoiler sheet. So, wait, oh, the other thing with Zobi is you have a ton of different options. So, I definitely would have liked one of the pictures that was more just him by himself than that one. And the other option could have been Seth Rollins, Shotzi Blackheart, Chelsea Green, and others. So, I mean, on the random factor, this is probably the better of the autographs that they listed, because usually you can trade Seth Rollins pretty easily. Like I said, would have liked a different picture of Starks, but uh, I guess I'll have to try to get Brian Cage on there sometime. I don't know, would it be a jerk move to ask Darby Allen to sign that or not? It's, there we go. The latest Zobie wrestling box. 
Uh, keep your eyes peeled for the next one. I really don't know when it'll come up. But, like I said, these are usually pretty good. If you don't get something for your collection, you'll get something you can easily trade. Alright, if you enjoyed this, give me that thumbs up. Anything to say? Any comments at all on this? Any questions about Zobi? Shoot them to me down below. You know I love hearing from you guys. Ding! That bell to be notified whenever my videos go live. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. It's always be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes.